YouTube. So this is Eric from Access to ONGs. All weekend we had to deal with our oldest kid being sick and I think it's starting to run through the house. As many of you guys know with multiple children, if one person gets sick, more than likely another kid's gonna get sick. So, and that's what actually happened. Uh, our oldest daughter was sick all weekend, wasn't feeling well, she missed school on Friday. Now, Channing is uh, not feeling well and she will be missing school today. So, I will actually have to stay home. Luckily, we are flexible enough in uh, the business that we do that I can actually work from home. So, I'm gonna go grab my computer and run some errands real quick and then bring it on home so I can stay home with my child. But it's unfortunate. Yeah, she's not feeling well. And, and like I mentioned in one of the earlier videos, it's just so difficult to see your child not feeling well and, and not doing well in pain. It, that's got to be the hardest part as a, as a parent to watch your kids suffer. So I'm headed to the office right now. I got to pick up a box so I can ship out uh, the Hatchimal that I sold to a good buddy of mine, Mark Spurlock. Uh, wish me well. It's going to be a long, rough day with a sick kid. And, and at least I get to work from home. So I guess that's the beauty of it. So, um, but other than that, have a group. Have a blessed day. So here's sick kid, even though she doesn't look too sick. She's over here sniffling. So even though she's not going to school, we have some workbooks at home that she can be able to work on. So we got some math here. And then we also have uh, words that start with um, workbooks. So, but. We'll be tackling this when we get back. We have to currently run out and step out of the house and ship that off and then we'll be back home. Yeah, so today is going to be a little rough. <coughs> she's getting over being sick. Now she's sick. See that? How that works? Come on, YouTube. Somebody say a prayer for me, please. Say a prayer for me. All right, get out, kid. Wait, you're only dropping me off here? Where's your bus stop? Right here. Okay, get out. I thought you were driving me to school. Oh. Where is everybody? Okay, she's right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I was getting dropped off at school. You want me to drop you off at So it's pretty awesome that we only live about five minutes down from Erica's high school, so it's actually pretty cool. It works out very well. And she had some hesitation on actually going here, but with some thorough convincing and statistics, she ended up at a great school within a high school. So there's only 100 kids that are allowed to go to school there every year that are enrolled there. So every year that they only, they only allow 100 new kids. So it's one of those schools where not everybody apply gets in. So you gotta take a lottery. But overall, we've been really, really happy with it. It's been a great uh, transition from traditional schooling uh, to more career and college oriented uh, focus. She's really taking on a new leadership role, which has definitely, I think, matured her, but also uh, kind of given her the rude awakening that sometimes in group projects and group functions not all people help and work so we have to deal with that challenge but overall i would say that she likes it what do you think kid i like it oh you got a frog in your throat yeah as you can tell yeah. You see that? You hear that? It's gross. That hurts. So we're sending her back to school. Hopefully, she makes it through the day. If not, then I'll have to come pick her up. I'm gonna be at the food bank yeah, all day, bank, so it doesn't so. really matter. Time to go to the office, and then the post office. Yeah. So, gotta pick up my laptop and ship off my Hatchimal. Isn't that right, kid? Mm -hmm. Life of a dad with four daughters. Mm -hmm. 
We are at the office. Pick up some things real quick. And we're leaving. Sign up to drive with Uber today. Go to All right, so it so looks like we'll be shipping this off and it'll be there in a few days. All right. So I got my package I'm shipping off. I got my computer so I can work from home. And now we are headed to the post office. Post office, we are here. I'm gonna pull up right here. So we are going into the post office. Hey. He's filling out the label right now. Yep. I wonder how much this is going to cost us. It costs? Yeah. They're not going to ship this for free. Oh. <laughs> We're driving home. Yes, we are. I'm going to work from home. In my PJs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is my office for today. I'm currently at home, supposedly with a sick child who seems to be doing pretty well right now, playing with her Legos. But as you can see, here's my desk. <laughs> uh, and I am relaxing comfortably. And the key to this, the key to all of this, is the one thing that I want you guys to understand. I believe is one of the best inventions ever made, ever, is wool socks. These wool socks are the truth. I love them. I never liked wearing socks, but for some reason, it just makes my feet feel warm and fuzzy. You live in Indiana, you know what I'm talking about. It can get really, really, really cold, but these will help along the way. So, we got sick kid playing with Legos. Alvin and Chipmunks over there playing on the TV. This is our basement. You can see it's relatively really clean, all from the cleaning we have done over the weekend. All right, so if you guys watch our videos and you see us talking at our office area where our desk and computer is located, you'll notice in the background there's typically a bunch of stuff that we wanted to donate. Well, after yesterday's shenanigans where we cleaned out the toy chest, we had more stuff to donate. And I got tired of seeing it. My wife's job was to obtain the stuff that we needed to donate and then donate them, right? Well, she's not a very timely person. She takes her time at doing things, which I love and I, I, she's near and dear to my heart. But one thing that bothers me most, she does not, does not move quickly. <laughs> so I'll show you this pile that's been here for, I'm going to say, two three months maybe longer yeah it's look at this. all right so here if you notice in the background these there's clothes there's one two three bags of clothes and then when we at what we actually found was more additional toys so we're going to load this up today and then donate it and get rid of it officially I'm a firm believer of that old saying, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. If you don't need it, you don't use it, 
Here's a good rule of advice. If you haven't used it within the last three months, you're probably gonna not use it in the next three months. Unless it's seasonal, don't keep that stuff around. I love throwing stuff away, decluttering, not having cluttered items in my house. My wife, on the other hand, she can't stand it. She, I would say, in an, in an infancy stage of being a hoarder. Yeah, she doesn't throw away anything. One day I will show you what's in her purse and her car and everything else. She does not like throwing stuff away. I'm done dropping off the donations and we are headed to pick up Ty Lin. We're gonna see if Thailand is hungry or one of the requests that she has today. Oh, Thailand's coming. Thailand's coming. All right, my little Thailand is spotted. And I guarantee she's gonna ask for food. We'll see. Hey, kid, how's everything going? What? Food. Don't even get it. How was school today? Good. Well, feel good about it. Ooh. Somebody knows who loves me and appreciates me. Actually, 